as long as you have the capacity to get certain things done certain things are not prayerful this is not a prayer topic God is just, but he's not fair. He has never been fair. Romans 9, Jacob have I loved, Esau have I hated. How can you, God, hate somebody and love somebody? It's because one, it is, it is based on their attitude. The Bible said when Esau realized that his father, Israel, didn't like certain women, that is the woman he decided to marry. Jacob, his father said, go to a particular house and go and marry. He struggled to marry there, but he chose to do it. No wonder the inheritance settled on him, not the one who was it was, it was meant for. Sometimes things can be meant for you, but your attitude can deprive you of it. You might never have them because you don't have the identity. Your name is on it, but you don't have the character for it. Well, certain things will define your lifestyle and your character. I said class too literate, marrying a PhD holder. You are beautiful, but your brain is below the belt. Your beauty will attract, character will derail you. What is in your head is what will take you places. It's not what you have around you. You can lose everything around you. That is why... The only time you lose in life is when you die. As long as you are alive, the opportunity to make it is always there. Except there is nothing in this your head. For a living dog is better than a dead lion. I don't care what I lose in life. The kingdom has been forcefully been advancing. And violent men take hold of it. You can never possess anything until you dispossess it from somebody. Because everything you need, somebody is holding it. What you decide, what you agree on, is what will stay with you permanently. There are so many things we ask God to do for us, He will never do because you have to do it. God, can you carry this chair for me? God, if you carry it, I know you are God. Well, whether He carries or doesn't carry, He's still God. It's not He carrying it for you that He proved to you that He's God because He's giving you energy. And as long as you have energy to carry this chair, stop praying. Adam was I'm alone now. No, God said, no, you are alone. Let me tell you what, you are not alone. You have a deposit in you, inside you. Get it out. And God, he slept, you woke up. There was an, a, a woman by him. And he said, okay, this should be my woman, the bone of my bone. Then they went on. If Adam needed another child to help in the farm, the child was in him. Anything Adam ever needed was in him. Everything you need is in you. As long as you have the capacity to get certain things done, certain things are not prayerful. This is not a prayer topic.